a lot of modern music is very, very hard to hear and it's hard for the public and isn't the goal to make the words and the music make the public's hearts melt and this piece does that. The music and the and the words and the story, even though it's a story that a lot that many Americans don't know, it's enough information and, and they would oh it's so pretty, what whoa, whoa, how who is this flora? And then you would tell them and then you know, it was just really exciting. My name is Laura Peterson and I'm singing Flora in the composition of Flora and the Prince. Your mother is a good woman. I went to college, I got my bachelor's and my master's and then I graduated with my master's, got married, and got a gig in Germany. I spent four years in Germany being in a, a fest situation, so um, baptism by fire. And, um, and then I wanted to come back to the States. I didn't want to miss out on the chance to sing this. I sang it at Carnegie Hall for the debut and I loved it. Everyone who was involved in staging and the, the music and the directing fell in love with this piece. And everybody outside of the opera shorts, everyone does little short operas, they all were like, oh my god, who wrote that? That's so pretty. And when Graham said, oh, I'm really going to try to record it, and I said, oh, oh I want to play. Let me come. I want to do it. And so he said yes. I've been really, really lucky. I mean, when I, when I sang in Germany, it was in an A house, which means, you know, you do all the things in the original language, the orchestra, I mean, everything is at the finest level. And it was an incredible experience and really gave me um, the background I needed to come back to America and work, you know, work in New York and, and work all over the country and doing, you know, lyric soprano, light lyric, you know, depending on the size of the house, um, Fach, and to, to work in New York and to, I study there still, you know, that's where my agent is. And, um, you know, I go everywhere from the next three days from now, I'll go to California, to Fresno, and then I'll go back to Panama City, Panama, which P.S., gorgeous hall. But I mean, some of the most beautiful opera houses, and, you know, I look around and think, this is my job. That's awesome. Right? What a gift. So I'm very grateful. It's, it's a good gig. I think the potential for this as a full-length opera is limitless. I think that every time somebody hears it, or if I play it for a coach, or I work on it vocally with a, with a voice teacher, so obviously those people are you know, fancy schmancy, artsy, opera-y, and they're like, who wrote this? This is beautiful. And then when I tell people, like my mom and dad, who are not big opera people, you know, with the, my mom's like, oh, now that is very pretty. That's a nice story. That's very romantic. Oh, that's, is he gonna write the full thing then? You know, so it's like every, every range of person, no matter how educated or not, really seem to relate to it and to like it and to really be sort of moved by the music, and that's something that comes very rarely. <laughs>